I have been invested in five startups. Three of them went bust. Now, the reasons <clears throat> for uh, failing of these startups were quite different, but they all had one thing in common, fundamental mistakes that were committed by the founders. That's the fate of an investor, really. <clears throat> and that is why venture capitalists, they actually have a, and also private equity companies, they have a portfolio of companies that they invest in so that there is a probability of one of them or a certain percentage of them being successful. We can learn a lot from this. That's why I've decided to create and present a list of the top 10 mistakes of entrepreneurs so that you can learn from those and you know what you'll have avoid. Now watch this video until the end because here's the top five of the 10 entrepreneur mistakes. Entrepreneur mistake number one is actually loving your idea, idea too much. Being enamored with your idea and therefore ignoring the market. I've seen this quite often. Uh, I've seen this in my case too. I'll give you an example. For example, I had a voice recognition business to replace phone numbers with nicknames. A great idea really you can stay connected with somebody for example in the dating environment without giving away your phone number you just dial a number and you choose your nickname well guess what the idea didn't fly even though I thought you know that would be ideal because you could actually build trust but the idea did not fly I uh, loved it but the market did not care so many times if you love your idea, really double check with the market because it's not important if you love your idea, it's important that the market loves your idea. I even talked with Alex Mir, uh, the founder of Zeusk, that was an online dating portal uh, in the States. I don't know if it exists anymore, Zeusk probably does. Alex is the founder, great guy, um, somehow met him on LinkedIn, we both went to Berkeley so we're kind of you know, we've, we've got something in common. And when I was working on this business, I actually contacted him and asked him for some tips on how to make it work. But Alex said to me, well, listen, I was actually in Berlin when he called me. I still remember exactly where I was. He told me, Armin, that's a great idea. We tried it on Zeus and many others tried it. Forget it, it's not gonna fly. So sometimes you just have to accept that things that you're enamored with, they don't fly in the market. And don't try to understand it. The worst mistake that you can make is to go on and on and on trying to understand something instead of, you know, just ticking the box and getting to the next idea or the next step. Now, the second biggest mistake on my top 10 list of entrepreneur mistakes is ignoring the customer. You would be surprised how many entrepreneurs are so in love with their idea. Look at look at mistake number one, that they are at the same time ignoring the customer. That does mean that they present their things without even knowing what the customers want. Now, what you actually have to do, you have to find out what the customer wants, but don't do it in the way that you're asking the customer or your avatar or your target group, wherever, or your Facebook group, what do you want? You know what? Most people do not know what they want. Ask them what they don't want, first of all, and secondly, ask them which conditions must be fulfilled so that they accept a solution for a common problem. You know, you can ask them, for example, for their biggest challenge in business, that they would know, and then you don't present a solution, you ask what conditions have to be fulfilled to accept a solution to that problem. A very famous example of something going wrong in the industry of automotive is the example of the Ford Focus. I don't know if it actually was a car in the States. In the States, one big, big mistake in the very old days in the 1950s was the Ford Edsel. But in Europe, the biggest, fa uh, the bi the biggest failure was the Ford Focus. And guess what? Ford actually made a lot of, a lot of uh, surveys and they asked many, many people, what do you want in a luxury car? At this point in time in Europe, Ford still served the luxury car market. And 
they gave the market everything the market wanted. And the market said, no, I don't want this. Probably because there are no, no, no surprises, you know, nothing that would really enchant them because they had asked for it anyway. So big mistake number two out of the top 10 list is ignoring the customer. Big entrepreneur mistake number three is a lack of solid financing. You, we all know the normal cycle of startups. You start with friends, family and some fools, the famous triple F approach at the beginning. But then once you have get, got something off the ground and you maybe have a proof of concept, go for solid financing, go for longer term financing. A company that I was invested in actually was concentrating on inte intelligent um, technology in online advertising and it was based on videos. They started with the classical triple F as I said before and then underestimated the need for money and uh, based on that they had to pivot no, not based on that. They actually had to pivot all the time. That is quite normal because you start and the, you've got your idea, you start the dialogue with the market. I'm not a big fan of this approach anyway. More on this in another video. But you know, if you start like this, you have to pivot all the time. So they needed more and more and more money to finance the new approaches of their product or the new, let's say, the new applications of their technology. So my advice here is to is to, in order to avoid this lack of financing, get a lot of money more than you actually think you need at the beginning. You'll always waste some and you need the buffer. And as one of my greatest business mentors, the late Dick Gilliver, used to say, if you are asking for X, ask, if you think you need X, ask for 2X. And that is something that you should probably also do. Entrepreneurship, entrepreneur mistake number four is over planning. Now, over planning and procrastination, these are two things. You plan and plan and plan and you never start to act. Many people have this problem because they think they can get something wrong. No, you can't get anything wrong. You can just try and learn from your mistakes. Of course, you need an overall plan, uh, but entrepreneurship is about action. Plans are nothing, planning is everything. That's the anonymous quote that I always used to, used to, to quote in, in, in these circumstances. Plan as much as necessary and as little as possible, I would say. I knew one entrepreneur who wanted to, to offer innovation consulting. Every time he planned and planned and planned and when he started acting, the opportunity had gone. Or he actually didn't know what to do. He had all these wonderful plans. He was more a strategic planner than an entrepreneur. If you're just a planner and not an actor, not an activist, don't become an entrepreneur. It's quite simple. So mistake number four, over planning. Avoid over planning. And here is the Top entrepreneur mistake number five out of the top 10, that's the wrong team. You're choosing the wrong team. I actually was uh, invested in one company where they had you know, somebody that I would call a half criminal in the team who didn't know the difference between uh, equity and, 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 and um, uh, liabilities, uh, equity and debt, yeah? equity capital and debt capital, you know? Uh, they were also hiring too fast and not doing a proper assessment. Have a look at my videos about proper hiring to avoid this mistake of the wrong team. And that organization was also not thinking about the roles and responsibilities and the organization up front. So don't do that. Uh, obviously plan that, but uh, don't over plan it. And then take your time with it. And. Uh, if you, if you do this right uh, and you follow the, uh, the, 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 the five steps that I have mentioned in one of my videos or the three mistakes that you have to avoid, you are going to be on the safe side. So if you want to be a great leader, avoid these five mistakes. Like for example, um, hiring the wrong team, over planning, uh, lack of solid uh, financing, being um, enamored, too enamored with your idea and ignoring the customer. The LIFE program actually, actually teaches you how to avoid these mistakes and to become a great and successful entrepreneur. If you would like me to help you with the development of your startup, apply for a free 
session with me, a 30 minute session where we will talk about your business, where it is now, where you want to go, and I will help you to plan the steps to get from here to your vision. It's completely free and I would be uh, happy to do that. So apply now by clicking on the link underneath this video. This was Armin Al Rao from Elan Rao, the entrepreneur, entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and don't forget, lead yourself.